Your next menu is your record menu. Under the record menu, you have two different types of menus. You have your record and play. Under the record menu, you have the option of record with audio. Okay, now, if you are using audio, you want to make sure that that box is checked. If there is no audio plugged in and your record with audio button box is checked, it will not make a difference. But again, if you are recording with audio, it is, must, it is a, a must that you have that box checked. Underneath there is your resolution. Okay, this is where you would go ahead and choose the resolution that you would like the DVR to record at. You have your three different options, a 70 by 480, 704 by 240, and 352 by 240. You have your timestamp. Okay, again, the timestamp is used once you're doing an archive of video, whether it be to USB or DVD. This is so your date and time would display on that archive video. And you have the option of choosing at the top, the bottom, or taking it off. Your record overwrite. The record overwrite, if that box is checked, that's saying once the hard drive fills up, it will automatically start recording over the oldest day of information with the newest. Okay, first in, first out. If you do uncheck the record overwrite, once the hard drive fills up, it would stop recording, and you would have to manually go in, erase the hard drive, so it can then start to record again. You have the option of auto erase video. Okay, you'll see that you have the options of 1 through 10, and then it jumps 14, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 90, or 100 days. So if I go ahead and choose 10, Every 10 days, the DVR will automatically go and wipe the hard drive clean. Okay, again, that is just an optional feature that is not needed. You do not have to use that if not necessary. And then last but not least, you have your pre-alarm recording. Okay, by enabling your pre-alarm recording, anytime there's an emotion or an alarm event triggered, what happens is the hard drive itself automatically goes five seconds prior to that motion or alarm event and buffers it to the event speed. Okay, If that is not checked, the DVR itself will automatically just start recording at the event speed at the time of the motion or the alarm event. Now the play menu. Under the play menu, this is just your quick, back, quick playback function. Okay, if this is not checked, once you hit that play button, it will automatically bring you back into the last playback that you were viewing on the DVR itself. If you do enable the quick playback, when you do hit the play button, it will automatically bring you back from the time selected down here from the playback from 60 seconds ago. And you do have the option of putting in from 60 seconds to 3,600 seconds. Okay, so that's basically saying from one minute to an hour, you can automatically play back from the present time when hitting the play key.